Father tells News 8 tonight that his son is not a monster. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Police arrest one man as accomplice to a robbery homicide in Meriden last week, but police are still on the hunt for the man who they think pulled the trigger. News 8's Jamie Miro was in court today where he spoke to the father of the man arrested. Jamie? Well, Darren and Sonia, Arthur Brayette says his son, Willie, has been very cooperative, cooperative rather, with police. The reason why he didn't call police immediately after the crime is that he was afraid that the man he was with, Frankie Resto, would kill him if he talked. There was a point in Tuesday's arraignment where 29-year-old Willie Brayette looks back at his father, a father wondering how his child got to this point. I'm very shaken up. I'm, uh, you know, it hurts me. You know, and uh, I'm trying to keep my health up because I have some issues myself, but I'm trying to, you know, maintain and be strong for my son. Meriden police arrested Brayette early this morning, charging him as an accomplice to the man who shot and killed Ibrahim Ghazal last week at the Easy Mart during a robbery. The man seen in this surveillance video is Frankie Resto. He's scared. Arthur Brayette says his son was sitting in his car, not knowing what was going on inside. He was doing a favor, giving a ride home, and uh, like I said, the uh, guy asked him to stop along the way. He wanted to buy some dope, whatever, and he asked my son if he would like uh, something to drink for the ride. My son told him a Red Bull. Gazelle was shot in the chest after giving the money, dying not long after the trigger was pulled. Arthur says Resto jumped back in the car and his son noticed something different about Resto's behavior. When my son tells me he was all shaking and nervous and upset, and uh, my son, you know, was bringing him back to New Britain. Police are identifying Resto only as a person of interest, but Arthur says it was Resto who opened fire, Resto who committed murder. His son's mistake was not telling police about the incident, which landed him here. A man needing guidance and support from his father. There's one thing with my son, you know, he's like a daddy's boy and he, he never lied to me with something like that. Now, Brad is being held on a $500,000 bond. The case now has been moved to New Haven Superior Court. He'll appear there July 17th. Now, Arthur Brayette, Willie's father, told us that when he spoke to his son, he said that his son believes now that Resto has skipped town, in fact, is probably out of the state. We're live in the Hartford Newsroom. I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.